Hello Veggie Fit families, it's Dr. Yami and welcome to Veggie Fit Kids. It's time for another episode of how a pediatrician orders at Taco Bell. So I've been waiting to do the Taco Bell video for a while because I wanted it to be special. I have a really special place in my heart for Taco Bell. Taco Bell was the restaurant that me and my husband would eat at in college. We've been together since we were 18 years old. We've now been together over half of our lives and we would fight over whose turn it was to pay for the bean burritos. Back then we weren't vegan but we still ate a lot of beans. But another reason I love Taco Bell is because they're actually really vegan friendly. There are a lot of options at Taco Bell and 99.9% .9 of the time they get the order right, it's fresh, and it can be a good option. Now I'm gonna put in my disclaimer that I put in every time. Remember that I do these videos once a month or less because I want you to think of them as options and every once in a while options. So I do not eat at Taco Bell every day or every week. We do it every once in a while. And actually I'm pick, going to pick up my kids at school right now and they get to be in the Taco Bell video because they love Taco Bell. So we love it in our family and it is a special treat. And I'm going to show you how you can order at Taco Bell. And I'm gonna show you an option that is mostly all whole foods as well. So there's definitely different options for different dietary needs and requirements. And I get to show you all the yummy things that you can get there. So I hope you like it. Here we go. We got the boys at school and I'm, I'm waiting to exit the parking lot. You guys know how school pickup is. It can be kind of chaotic. So anyway, I'm looking at the Taco Bell website or the app on my phone and there's things I didn't even know about Taco Bell. I mean, they're really vegan and vegetarian friendly. You can get a bowl of black beans and rice and add guacamole to it, add onions, you can add some tomatoes, some uh, diced tomatoes, um, romaine lettuce. So you can even make your own bowl. But I'm gonna show you what I order usually and what my sons like to order. But you can go to tacobell.com or get the app and go under vegetarian and look at the different options. But really, pretty much almost anything on the menu, you can veganize. So I'm gonna show you what we order and how we like to have it. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you hear me? Yeah, so seven layer burrito, like fresco style, fresco style okay. substitute black beans instead of refried beans. And then I'll have two bean burritos with no red sauce, no onions, no cheese, so just plain beans. Okay. And then I'll have two cheesy bean and rice burritos with um, no cheese and none of that nacho cheese sauce. So basically just beans and rice. Okay. And then I'll have a crunch wrap supreme fresco style and add potatoes, beans instead of meat on that one as well. Just the refried beans? Yes. And then um, the last thing is I want a veggie power menu bowl okay. fresco style and if you could please add potatoes. Okay. So I have a seven layer burrito, no beans, add black beans. Okay. Fresco style, two bean burritos, no red sauce, no onions and no cheese. Mm -hmm. Two cheesy bean and rice burritos, just rice and beans. Mm -hmm. A crunch wrap, fresco style, add potatoes, no beef, substitute beef to beans. Perfect. And then the veggie bowl, fresco, add potatoes. Perfect. Okay, 2072 at the window, please. Thank okay, you. thank you. Any hot sauce? Uh, yes, can we have hot and mild? Perfect. All right, thank you so much. Have a good day.
Okay, so we are ready to see what we got. I wanna show you what this looks like. So it is called the Power Menu Bowl, and this is the veggie version, fresco style. Look how yummy that is, black beans. Now, the potatoes is my little indulgence. These are fried, so if you want to avoid fried foods, don't ask to add the potatoes. You'll just get beans, and then there's rice under there, lettuce, tomato, guacamole. Look how beautiful that is and how delightful. And it's vegan and pretty much all whole foods except for the fact that you have the fried potato. So like I said, you can add that part or you can leave that part off and not add it like I did. So that is the Power Menu Bowl. Now we have the Crunch Wrap Supreme. That is huge. This is definitely gonna fill you up for a nice dinner. I'll show you what's inside one of these delightful crunch wrap supremes. Like I said, this is a very filling choice. And look at what's in there. So you have your lettuce, you have your tomato, and then it's got a crunchy tortilla, corn tortilla, and then it's got the soft one. And then also we have potatoes in this one and pico de gallo. So that is very delicious. And then you have just bean burrito here. This is my younger son. My younger son just likes the plain bean burritos to look like, and it just has beans on the inside. So refried beans, they're delicious at Taco Bell. They are vegan, very yummy. And then my older son has the bean and rice. And then the other um, burrito that we got for the med student that's rotating with me. If you ever rotate with me at Nourish Wellness, just know you're gonna end up in one of the videos. It's just part of the deal. But her burrito is basically the same thing as my Power Bowl, except without the potatoes. So she's got the beans and the rice and the guacamole and the lettuce and tomato. So now we're gonna eat our food. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope now that you feel more comfortable and confident ordering at Taco Bell. Remember, fresco style is to remove all the dairy. You can substitute beans for beef or beans for any of the meat on this menu. Pretty much you can make any of the menu items vegan. Delicious. You can have options anywhere you go because Taco Bell pretty much exists almost everywhere. If you like this video, please share it, give me a like, comment below, and tell me, what do you like to order at Taco Bell? Because there's all kinds of things that I've never even thought of ordering before, and I'd love to know how you veganize the Taco Bell orders. Thank you guys for watching today, and have a plantastic day. Let's talk about self-care. and. Um, Kim, I know that you're a health coach, and so you may work a little bit more clients and helping them integrate this, but how important is self-care and how would you help somebody implement a self-care routine? Wow, okay, you're asking me. I'm gonna tell you self-care is of the utmost importance. I think that it is the foundation of health and wellness is you have to take care of yourself. And of course you hear that analogy all the time about the oxygen masks, right, when in the airplane. And when they fall, you have to put yours on first or else you won't be of any use to anyone else. So you have to, have to take care of yourself. And, and I find that self-care really encompasses a wide range of things, including you know, what you're eating and whether you're moving and, and if you have a stress reduction um, you know, schedule or, or um, routine, which I do, <laughs> but it's also about managing your mindset. It's, you know, that you have to 